Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFly. More specifically, welcome back to Top Tech Under 50, the series where we go out, browse the internet and try and find the coolest tech under 50 pounds to maybe give you some ideas or you maybe see something you've never ever seen before. actually products that I've been using throughout my time in quarantine sat at home so I'm hoping you guys can get some use out of them too. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace and all of the products will be below that like button. But let's get straight into product number one. Now have you ever been at home in quarantine wanting to chill watch some Netflix but you can't find the damn TV remote anywhere like it's lost in the quill or it's gone down the sofa you just can't find it. Now I hate remotes, I actually have a Logitech Harmony system in my kitchen and this is like a really expensive over a hundred pound remote control system where you have this single remote that literally controls all of your devices. It has a touch screen on it but it's again super super expensive. This is the RM Mini and it's about 20 pounds on Amazon. Essentially it's this little small black box that is powered by USB-C so you can literally run this off a computer or just plug it into a USB wall jack and it's going to allow you to control pretty much anything in your house that is controlled with IR but with your phone or on a tablet, literally anywhere in the world. Now it was really easy to set up, I gave it Wi-Fi and then as soon as I told it my Wi-Fi network it was ready to say right what do you want to control in the house. So I selected a Sony TV and went to work testing this out in my bedroom because obviously I've got the Harmony downstairs so I thought if I have this upstairs, win win. And surprise surprise it worked really well. Within about five minutes I was controlling my TV via my phone so now I'm never ever going to lose that pesky remote again and not be able to turn off the TV at three o'clock in the morning. On top of that as well you can also tie it in with Google Home or she that will not be named and do voice commands like hey Google turn off the TV and it will turn off the TV. Again brilliant for those 3 a.m. Maybe it's just me that sleeps with the TV on or falls asleep with the TV on. But yeah, I'm going to say, hey Google, turn off the TV at 3 a.m. most mornings now. Coming in at number two, well, I actually got this in and I thought this was really cool. This is a tiny, tiny little fold away Bluetooth keyboard. It's got some cool little features like magnets that keep the whole thing shut when you fold it up and throw it into your bag, for example. It has three lights on it so you can see if it's connected, it's dying or the caps lock is pressed. Now please don't expect the best build quality, this is really cheap and probably only just to throw in your bag for a last case scenario but I'm going to keep this in my bag all the time because of my job and it's been working really really well but it does have a little bit of flex if you do bend it but if you put it down on the table the experience is kind of nice. Like if it's on a table like it should be then the trackpad is a little bit on the small side but the keyboard is actually surprisingly nice to type on and I didn't think I would, I would be sat here saying that but it is, it's quite nice to type on, I actually quite enjoy it. I definitely wouldn't be using this thing for the trackpad, it's just a Bluetooth keyboard, however I did hook it up to my iPad to see what was going on and funnily enough the cursor was there, I could use the cursor on the iPad and it was actually quite an enjoyable experience to be honest with you, it was uh, yeah a little bit different. The only annoying thing is the delete key is kind of small which is yeah a little bit of a downside but to be honest with you I charged this thing up about two weeks ago and I've been using it when I've been out on jobs and yeah pretty cool solid little Bluetooth fold away keyboard. It's a fold away. It's a fold away. I take it everywhere. So this is called the Goal Zero Flip and yeah I have overlooked this and I, I don't think I'm the only one. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I come downstairs and I'm going out, but my phone's low, so I go into my bag to try and find one of my portable battery banks, and I've got all of these absolutely huge, massive 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 milliamp hour battery banks. I've got so many of them, and sometimes I just want a small little battery bank just to put in my pocket next to my phone. Now as the world is slowly starting to open back up with all of this coronavirus stuff I've been starting to redo my travel essentials and what I'm keeping in my travel bag and this is my new little find. 
It's essentially a 2,500 milliamp hour battery bank and it's small and it's built really well and I just really, really like it. Especially if you couple it with like a really short anchor cable or something, you can literally have your phone in your pocket charging, not something I can do with any of my other huge 5,000, 10,000 milliamp hour battery banks. It has a full size USB port so you can literally plug in and charge anything and like I said, 2500 milliamp hours should be good for most modern phones to get one charge out of it. Like it's not going to give everything loads of charges but what I'm trying to say is that if you're in a rush and you just need a quick little boost, you could take this out with you and I think it's something that's overlooked. It just fits in your pocket, I've been using it and it's really well built, I'll put all those links down in the description. Now coming up next, people are always asking me for different bits and bobs that you can get to spruce up a gaming setup or a room or your office or your house. And I think people ask me this because I've got like cool lights everywhere. There's literally a Pac-Man light there. There's a magnetic light down there. There's this fire lamp here. I've got loads of lights in my office, some nano leaf light panels, some fake fires. I've got LEDs behind my monitors. There's honestly hundreds of pounds worth of LED lights in my office. So what can we get that's cheap? A salt lamp. Now these things are literally about $9.99. Well this one was when I picked it up. And they're just great to add a little bit of ambience to absolutely anywhere. And it's not just any ambience, it's a warm glow that comes through the salt lamp. That's what they were all about. If you put this behind your monitor, it's gonna look super, super nice in a dark room, especially when you're gaming or something. The reason why I like it is because I use these Philips Hue Blooms from Philips Hue and they're again really expensive, about £80, but they cast a really nice warm glow up the wall and that is exactly what these little lights are going to do. You could even pick up two for about £20 well in our budget, have one either side of your monitor and it's going to look absolutely great. On that as well, if you lot are working from home, I don't know if you guys knew this, but bias lighting is a thing. Now essentially if you put a light behind your monitor or screen, that's known as bias lighting and it actually increases your productivity and increases your concentration. I'm not sure how, but it is scientifically proven. So if you do want to get one of these and put it behind your monitor, as well as looking cool, you may also get some benefits out of it yourself that you didn't even know. Thanks for ruining my audio. I hope you're okay though. Now, we just need to take a quick break to thank, obviously, today's sponsor, Squarespace. I feel like a broken record, but let me tell you guys what Squarespace is and what's going on over there. Squarespace are essentially the online platform where you can go on there and you can make a website. Now they handle absolutely everything from the website creation side of things all the way to doing things like securing a domain which can be a little bit difficult. Now when you make a new website it's super super simple because they've got thousands of templates that you can choose from so then you can choose one, upload all of your own images to it, make it yours, essentially make it count, make it personal and then what you can actually do is go in there and tweak in, they've got built in animations and things so you can have things pop up, make it look really good for all your customers essentially. They've got SEO on there so you can go in and see how your website is going to look on the search engines like Google. They've got e-commerce so you can turn your website into a shop and sell things on there. And on top of that, the websites genuinely do look stunning. Like here is another example of one of my current websites that you guys can go and visit if you would like to. It's all built on Squarespace, so if you guys would like to get 10% off your first Squarespace purchase, go to squarespace.com forward slash techflow. Can I say Squarespace one more time? Squarespace. Now guys, to wrap this up, I've got something I've actually been using at home and I've bought another one for in the studio, just because of how cheap it is and how much I've been using it. Now I know this looks just like a normal power strip, but wait, it has a few little quirks up its sleeve that I want to talk to you guys about. So it has six normal sockets, so you can plug in normal things, and obviously it's rated up to 3000 watts, so you can plug in things like in the studio, we have soft boxes and things plugged into ours, devices that draw a lot of power. It's also then got four USB ports in it, so as well as all the lights that I've got running here in the office, I've also got a portable monitor here, so I can make sure everything is okay. That's being powered by one of the four USB ports. And now as well as that, it actually has a wireless charging pad on top of it, so you can go ahead, place any phone or anything with a wireless charging capability on top of here and it's going to charge at 7 watts. It's actually the fastest wireless charger that I think I own and I own some expensive ones. This seems to top my iPhone XS Max up really, really fast. 
And not only that, when you're not using it, the cable actually hides away in the bottom of it when it's not being used. It's just a little one of them little quirks. So I'm gonna buy a few more of these and just keep them in the office just because of how much I like them. They're well built, they've lasted so long. And now I'm sat here recommending uh, them to you guys because they're really, really good. All those links, guys, will be down below. We do hope you've enjoyed it. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Adios. Oh, soundbar, didn't do the soundbar. Now this is a sound bar. Now you guys are probably thinking, Alex, a sound bar under 50 pounds, really? And yeah, this one's a little bit different though. It's super, super cheap, this, 12 pounds. And for 12 pounds, it's built really, really well. It's got a cool design, a nice metal grill on the front of it. It feels premium. Again, we're talking about 12 pounds here. It has a big volume knob on the front of it that lights up blue, which is kind of nice. It doesn't look tacky, it actually looks really good. And for the size of this thing, it gets quite loud. Now it's big anyway, so what I'm trying to say is it sounds really, really good. Like, just take a listen. Now the one downside to this is there's two cables that come out of this. One of them is a USB cable and one of them is a 3.5 mil cable. Now it's annoying because they're joined together at the end so you can't separate them. And it's also annoying that the audio can't travel through the USB. The USB is only for power. And as the 3.5 millimeter jack grows away from us as time goes on, that is slightly annoying. But again, it's only 12 pounds. The one thing I do like about that though is that you can actually power this thing with a battery bank. So then it kind of turns into a 3.5 millimeter portable sound bar that turns up pretty loud. Overall, I think it's a nice package. I thought as well that maybe if you're at home and you bought a new computer monitor, but your computer monitor didn't have any computer speakers built into it, you could get some Velcro because this thing's nice and light and cheap. Velcro on the back, stick it to the back of your monitor, and then you've got some pretty decent sound coming out your monitor that didn't have any speakers in it to start with. Obviously it's not gonna be the best sound, but it's just an idea if you wanted to get creative with a 12 pound sound bar. I thought it was pretty cool. There you go, those are some techs things that I've been using in my life for the last sort of month and a half. All those links guys will be down below. We do hope you've enjoyed it. My name's been Alex, this has been TechFlow, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Adios.